Oh boy, that was fun. Hey everybody, my name is Michael. I'm the host of this channel, Bay Area Hiking Guides. Giving you that information, that knowledge to go out there and hike with confidence. And in this video, we're going to be talking about a very particular topic that I talked about regarding fears. And this is going to go more deep into that because we're going to be talking about hiking alone, especially for women. So stay tuned. Mines. It's 626 in the afternoon. Coming out of this air shaft, I feel a little bit like a hobbit. This isn't about air shafts and black diamond mines, but we're going to be talking about a real, real in-depth discussion and a very important discussion regarding some of the fears that we have out in hiking. And one of those particular fears was hiking alone, especially for women. Um, it might be easy for me to hike out alone, to be solo, to be a guy, or just hang out there and be a solo lone, lone ranger. But, you know, that's not the case for everybody. I, 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 this is something that's really deep, really personal, and it's something that it's going to take a progression of time to overcome. I, I talk with Beth, and Beth's a great, great source of information and a great way to give you that inspiration and give you that extra push to help you have the confidence to go out there and start hiking alone. Um, what I wanted to do is I wanted to get her along and really have a discussion with you guys. A few weeks ago I did a video with her and she's going to go more deep into it because she hikes alone all the time. And not only does she hike alone, she backpacks alone. So she's out there sleeping out in the woods all by herself. She's a big inspiration. Alright, stay tuned. everybody welcome back as you can see i've got beth here to my left you've done a ton of hiking uh, alone and you've mm -hmm. done some backpacking alone as well way out there in the middle of nowhere yeah so um why don't you talk to everybody about that because you, you are a lady and you also had your injury i know you've done a video on that mm -hmm. had any fears with hiking alone or how it really uh, was easier for you to go out there and hike alone and what helped motivate you to do that no i've never really been afraid hiking alone even after my accident um I grew up very in Contra Costa County. I grew up in Danville, and I was always out in the fields or in the woods or around ponds or creeks. I was always out by myself a lot when I was a kid. Um, you know, just out exploring different areas. Uh, I used to ride horses. I had a horse, and riding my horse up on Mount Diablo when I was a, a young teenager alone. So I've never really had a fear of being outside by myself. Um, and before I started hiking with um, my hiking group that I hiked with for many years, um, back in like early 2000s, I hiked alone or hiked with my kids and by myself still, but um, I hiked with groups for many years. But as, as, as a um, disabled person, it's gotten harder and harder for me to hike with a group because I've just gotten a little bit slower over the years. I'm um, just, just nothing majorly wrong with me, but just naturally kind of slowed down. And it's actually easier for me to hike by myself or with maybe just a couple of people um, because I don't have to worry about keeping up with the group. So it's actually got, you know, I've kind of gravitated back toward hiking alone. And I've always felt very comfortable with that. I've never had any major problems with it. Um, I've never really gotten lost. I've, you know, gone off a trail a few times here and there, but I've never really, you know, gotten majorly lost or had any major accidents or had anything really bad happen, ran into any really scary people or anything. Um, but I know there are women that are very afraid of hiking alone, and they say, I'm, I would never do that. I would never hike by myself. Aren't you scared? And... I, I hear that a lot. Um, so one thing, if you want, if you if you have never hiked alone and you feel like you really want to, um, I would suggest going somewhere that you're very familiar with to start out with if you wanted to gravitate into it and just do it on your own and then maybe just branch out from there. Go in area, you know, always, you know, bring a map. Um, 
you know, be prepared. That's, that's the main thing. Don't go somewhere. Don't go beyond your limits, your physical limits. That's really important because that's where you really start to get in trouble is you, you know, you, you go out and think, oh, I'm going to do this 10 mile hike and you're not ready for it. That's where you're going to get yourself in trouble. Always bring water, always bring food, um, bring a cell phone if you, you can't always use it, but it's, you know, in an emergency, it might be helpful. Um, and the most important thing is always tell somewhere where you're going, where you're going. And we've gone over this before. Um, we have a board at home where we write down where we're going, what time we're going to be back, what trailhead we're going from. Let's say you tell somebody you're going to Mount Diablo. Well, you could, you could start from Mount Diablo from six different places. So they'd be looking all over for you. Tell, tell somebody what trailhead you're going from, what trails you're going to be using, and try to stick to that as much as you can. Sometimes you deviate a little bit, but you know, they, so somebody knows if they were coming, if you don't come home, they're going to know where to look for you. So it's, that's, that's really important. I feel more comfortable hiking out somewhere like we are today. That's a little bit further away from an urban area than I do even hiking, you know, near a city, you know, near a major, somewhere near a major city. I get a little, you know. I get a little more worried about it then. But I try to stay also, on the other hand, I try to stay where I'm going it, to, it's probably better to go where you're expected to run into a few people. It's not so remote that you're going, you know, you're, you're going to run into a few people. We've, we've passed by probably five or six at least people today. Um, and, and that way, you know, if you run into a problem, there's a chance that somebody's going to come by and, and be able to help you. Um, so you know, kind of the, the happy medium of those two, those two things. But I feel more comfortable being out a little bit more remote than, than in a major city. I feel that people that are looking for trouble, they're, they're not going to go out, hike out five miles to go up a hill somewhere to go rob somebody or whatever. They're going to do it probably in a parking lot yeah. or right near a major urban more than likely urban area. If, if say you're somebody who has a horrible sense of direction and you 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 can't tell one you know one place from another, you're probably better off hiking with a group. Um, and one resource that's been really um, a good one for me, and it, it's more geared toward backpacking, but it's it's a book written by a local woman. Um, and it's geared toward kind of older women, middle-aged and older women. Or in the mountains, not over the hill. Susan Alcorn. Um, it's a real good one. It talks about also hiking at your own pace, how important it is to hike at your own pace. Um, but there's also a section in it that, that is about hiking alone. And different, and she interviewed a whole bunch of different women, and their and their different feelings about it. So that's that's a really good resource. Yeah, and and I I understand that it's not something like we can't just make a video and then poof, you know, your fears are gone and you you're you're trekking along and doing everything alone. And I I understand that this is this is a fear. This is a deep thing that's going to take some time to progress through it. And as and you had mentioned the thing about uh, stuff happening in parking lots or stuff that's more closer to, to city life and stuff like that. You know, the guy that just recently, somebody posted something about the guy on, on Iron Horse Trail going around doing some unfortunate things, people that don't have the right mindset. Um, and, you know, that's more likely going to happen in areas where it's, it's more heavier populated, like Iron Horse Trail. You know, I feel the same way when you're out there and way off in the lonely, way out in the middle of freaking nowhere. It's, it's less, less going to happen. These people aren't going to be, you know, trekking way the heck out there for, for only seeing just a, a very few amount of people. Yeah. If, that. if you feel like you want to venture out on your own, you know, go ahead and try it. Like it said, you know, follow some guidelines, maybe read up on it a little bit, see other people's experiences and, and, and try it it's it's a different it's a different it's a different way of hiking sometimes you it's it's quieter uh, you're likely to see more one of the advantage advantages of it is um, if you're by yourself you're more likely to see wildlife um, not a group of people talking that you're gonna scare you know animals and things away you have like the ability to kind of go at your own pace and if you want to sit and meditate or you want to sit down and have lunch for a longer period of time 
you don't have to worry about accounting for everybody, anybody else's needs. Yeah, I agree. And you know, you're, you're building your self-confidence in yourself, your ability to do things like I, like I can do this on my own type of, you know, a little bit more independence. Ladies, I'm going to do, you know, I, I hope this video helps you out. And, you know, if anybody else has other tips or other ideas or they've got, you know, stuff that might, might help uh, ease um, some of these ladies into it, uh, you're more than welcome to leave a comment down below. Um, you can get a whole collaboration of comments going on. So um, I hope this really helps. It really um, impacted me quite a bit to see it as much as I did. And I really wanted to spend some, some weeks just really thinking about it. hope that helps. And you're more than welcome to reach out to me. And uh, thank you all for checking out the videos. Thank Hit you. that like and subscribe. And thank you, Beth, once again for coming on in. And uh, Thank you. And talking uh, you. talking about this topic, it's, it's mm -hmm. great to have you on because especially your, your point of view. Um, you've been out there so many times. All right, everybody. Well, thank you so much for checking out that video. And I hope we were able to kind of help ease a little bit and make you feel a little bit more comfortable or if we were able to answer some of your questions regarding hiking alone for women. Um, I really wanted to dedicate a lot of time and really thinking about this process of how to do this video because I got a ton of responses. Um, not just through YouTube, but a lot of on social media next door. So I hope that answered for you. And you guys are always welcome to, to send me a message, contact me, contact me through our Facebook group. Um, you the link down below for that. But I want you, I want you ladies to feel just as comfortable going out there and hiking in the outdoors that I do. Uh, so thank you so much. Appreciate it. And all the subs, the likes, the comments, it's really, really been a big, massive inspiration. I, I've been just in the just settled in Clayton getting all squared away so it's all kinds of new places to check out and do videos about so I'm looking forward to that. I'm, Black Diamond Mines is not a place that I typically check out always and there's an oracle oak over here so I'll do a video about that down the road but uh, awesome place I'm gonna go out and do some photography and just enjoy the sense of nature but uh, contact me anytime you have questions and thank you all so much I appreciate it. You all have a wonderful day and I'm going to do everything I can in hopes to make you feel more comfortable when you're out there exploring and enjoying the wonderful nature that we have. The is getting a little out of control. I mean, I really feel like a hobbit. You know, this is... Hey, welcome to the Four Seasons. Come on in. Dinner is not served. And there's no continental breakfast. <laughs> there's actually a blue lady that haunts this place. Now, supposedly down there by the cemetery, but she might uh, float around up here too. It's possible. I've never seen her before, but I've heard stories. She's out there. I really don't want to run into her because I just don't have time. <laughs> I get photography to take care of. Do not have time to uh, meet the spirit of the blue lady. I don't. I don't. I don't have time. God, these oaks are really kind of creepy looking. <laughs>